Welcome back everyone to Zuma Fan. So I just saw Mighty Pups versus the Mayor of the Universe, and it's not very good. This episode had a lot of problems, which is a shame because I was actually looking forward to this one. I think having the powers, the vehicles, the suits, and even some of the characters from Power to the Mighty movie coming into the show is actually really cool. And this is something that I've always wanted to see and now they're doing it. But I have to be truthful here, this episode is just not good. The characters, the actions that the characters take, the story, the villains, practically everything is not good. And especially some of the things that happen in this episode make absolutely no sense whatsoever. So the episode starts with Liberty taking the Mini Patrol to Adventure Bay for the first time. Now they have to cross a bridge to get into town, but this bridge starts acting up for some reason, and Mary Goodway ends up getting stuck on the bridge. The Paw Patrol are then called in to rescue her, which they do. And it turns out that the reason why the bridge is messed up and not working correctly is because it is missing a gear. Now the reason why the gear is missing is because Harold Humdinger stole it to make this floating hat for his uncle Mayor Humdinger. During this, a meteor then comes out of nowhere and hits into the hat and breaks everything. And it's here that you see that the meteor inside of it we have the crystals of which we were introduced to in the Mighty movie. And this is a rather interesting thing that they're doing here, and they kind of imply throughout this episode that the meteor that we've seen from Mighty Pups and Charged Up is the same meteor, but the power is actually coming from the crystals within side, and that is the reason why we have the powers that we do. So it is not necessarily retconning what we had before, but it's kind of adding to it, which is rather interesting, and I'm glad that they did it this way rather than just saying, like, what we've seen previously just doesn't exist anymore. Harold then gets his power from the crystal, and then he decides to go around Adventure Bay, stealing appliances so that he can build a giant flying hat so that he can take over the universe. And it is because of this the Paw Patrol are then called into action, of which we then see that they now have their suits and vehicles from the Mighty movie. Now one of the biggest issues in this episode is the fact that there is no explanation for this change in Mighty Pops. They had their suits that we all know, I really did like them, but then in Charge Up they then replaced them with new suits, they had no explanation for this. And now they changed it once again for this episode of Mighty Pops to the ones that we got in the Mighty movie, and we have absolutely no idea why. The Paw Patrol then deploy and go and confront Harold. During this, Tot Nano Mini end up popping inside of one of the tubs that Harold stole from Katie, and they get taken away with him. But luckily, Liberty follows. Harold, with all the stolen materials, is able to build the giant floating hat that he wants so that he can take over the universe. Now, this whole thing absolutely frustrates me because we see what Harold and Mayor Humdinger are doing, and we just basically see them float around Adventure Bay and getting people to wave at them, like as if this is a way to take over the universe. And it also doesn't help that Mayor Hundinger and Harold do absolutely nothing besides argue with each other as to who is going to rule what part of the universe. These two can never seem to agree on anything, and it just kind of makes me wonder as to why Mayor Hundinger even deals with his nephew at this point, who keeps trying to take away power from him. But during one of their arguments, Tot, Nano, and Minnie come up with a plan to stop Mayor Hundinger and Harold. And after doing a little bit of a distraction, the Mini Patrol end up getting one of the crystals off of Harold, and they then have the power to duplicate themselves. They then use their powers to stop Mayor Hundinger and Harold. But of course, the Paw Patrol need to find a way to stop the half, so they have the bright idea to have Sky push the entire hat into space. But not just anywhere in space, but into a black hole. So Liberty, the Mini Patrol, and Sky push the flying hat inside of the black hole and destroy it. And that's how the episode ends. Oh boy, this episode is just so ridiculous with so many problems. The fact that Harold is honestly not intelligent at all in this episode. This is probably the least intelligent that I've ever seen him in the series. Believing that if you can build a flying hat, and if you're just above everyone else, then they're just going to respect you and worship you and treat you like the ruler of the universe. 
is honestly ridiculous, and the fact that this hat is not like some kind of giant weapon of some kind to where he could threat people just makes it more annoying and less smart. The fact that the Potts will have new gear, new powers, and new vehicles out of nowhere without an explanation as to why or how just it's absolutely annoying. And one of the worst things about this episode, like I said, are the characters and the decisions that they make. Ryder, I've always seen, was a pretty intelligent kid, along with the Patrol in the earlier seasons. Now, of course, they didn't come up with really complex plans to solve an issue. It was relatively really simple, but then again, for the issues that they were dealing with, they kind of had just simple solutions, but... They never felt like stupid or like they were making things up as they went along. They did feel intelligent and that they came up with a plan and that they executed it pretty much pitch perfectly. But Ryder here just has absolutely no idea what he's doing, nor does the Paw Patrol. Like the fact that Harold is stealing appliances for the hat later on that he's going to build. The fact that he doesn't use Rocky makes absolutely no sense. He only uses the vehicle at the end where... He's sort of just grabbing like some fridges that dropped off onto the ground. But never at any point does he ask Rocky, who, like I said, has a magnet power, right, to stop Harold. Harold is wearing a suit made of metal, and he is stealing appliances and all sorts of other things made of metal. You would think that he would call upon Rocky more than anyone else to deal with this issue, but he just doesn't. The fact that the only thing that he can do with this giant floating hat is to throw it into a black hole in outer space makes absolutely no sense whatsoever either just slowly put it on some type of ground you got a lot of open area in adventure bay just put it down somewhere there but it's never like that it's always like doing these grand things that could end up getting people hurt but they do it anyways because it's more epic this way i guess and probably the worst thing about this whole episode, which is something that not many people are going to think about, but I couldn't help but think about the whole time just asking questions, is at the end when they throw the hat into the black hole, the pups are just in space. They're in the vacuum of space, and they're acting fine. They're not, they're not having a difficulty with breathing or anything like that, which seems odd because we did have a tension-filled scene in Mighty Pups, this special, the first time that we've seen the Mighty Pups, when Harold's giant robot grabs onto the floating tower and is flying into space, there is some tension that they could die out there. Especially when you see the red lights shining inside the lookout, like warning them that really bad things are going on. There's a lot of tension in the scene, but now I realize that the Pontro can literally just breathe in space, so that scene means absolutely nothing now. But I should at least give some positives, you know, not everything in this episode was awful. So the animation I thought was good and I also really enjoy seeing the gear, the vehicles, and the powers from the Mighty Movie in the series in the animation art style. I thought it looked really cool and I really did like it. I don't know if it's better than what we've seen from the Mighty Movie because that's got a lot more detail. But I did really like the way that all this stuff looked. And something that I found actually really surprising is that I kind of enjoyed the Mini Patrol in this episode. I know I said that they look kind of hideous in, in the promo breakdown, but like, I can't really help it. They, they were kind of good in this episode. I actually did enjoy them. And I especially like them and their relationship with Liberty in this episode as well. The, the fact that the Mini Patrol don't actually think about what they're doing and they kind of just want to hop into the action and just figure it out as they go along that's really interesting and then at the end they then learn to think about what they can do and then plan stuff out before they can hop into whatever issue that they're going to be dealing with the moment where the main patrol were sad because they felt like they were alone inside the floating hat with harold and mayor humdinger only to realize that liberty was right next to them was actually kind of nice especially when they went over there and they kind of hugged her knowing that they weren't alone i actually really did enjoy them and Liberty in this episode, surprisingly. But this episode just had too much going against it, and there's a lot of issues with story and the characters and the actions that the characters take, and it just doesn't make that much sense. And it's just a complete and utter disappointment, especially since this is the first time that we're seeing stuff from the movies in the TV series like this. So yeah, that was my thoughts, but I wanna hear your thoughts, so leave it down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you later.